The Bauman's self-propelled anti-aircraft gun system is a notable example of Iran's efforts of to modernize and expand its air defense capabilities. Beyond the technical specifications and immediate operational potential, the development of the Bahman reflects a broader trend in Iranian military strategy, particularly in its approach to asymmetric warfare and reliance on indigenous defense systems. In the face of regional tensions and arms embargoes, Iran has adopted a policy of technological innovation and adaptation, leveraging both existing Soviet-era designs and modern Iranian engineering to address emerging threats. The Bauman system, built upon the chassis of the Ukrainian Kray 6322 truck, benefits from the inherent mobility of a wheeled vehicle. This mobility is a crucial factor in Iran's defense doctrine, as the country places significant emphasis on decentralized, flexible defense systems that can be quickly repositioned to protect vital infrastructure or respond to unexpected threats. Unlike fixed air defense systems, the Bauman offers the advantage of quick deployment and the ability to adapt to dynamic combat conditions. The wheeled configuration of the Care AZ chassis allows it to operate across varied terrain, making it suitable for both urban and rural environments. This mobility also enhances the system's survivability in combat, as it is less vulnerable to direct strikes compared to stationary assets. Iran's layered air defense approach is a cornerstone of its strategy to counter the superior air power of regional adversaries, particularly Israel and the United States. While these countries possess advanced missile defense systems, such as Israel's Iron Dome or the U.S. Patriot missile systems, Iran has focused on creating a diverse and integrated network of anti-aircraft systems that can address a range of aerial threats. The Bauman system fits neatly into this framework, providing a versatile weapon against low-flying aircraft, drones, and missiles. Iran's defense industry has developed several air defense systems over the years, including the Mursad and Kordad III missile systems, which are designed to intercept high-flying ballistic missiles and aircraft. In contrast, the Bauman is focused on dealing with smaller, faster, and more evasive targets, such as UAVs and cruise missiles, which have become increasingly important in modern warfare. The integration of the Bauman system with advanced targeting and fire control technologies is another noteworthy aspect of its design. While the original ZSU-57-2 lacked modern fire control systems, the Bauman likely incorporates Iranian-made technologies that improve its effectiveness. The integration of an updated SkyGuard MSA multi-sensor approach with an advanced optical electronic search and target tracking system would enable the Bauman to engage rapidly moving targets with greater accuracy. This is particularly important in countering UAVs, which are often equipped with electronic countermeasures that make them difficult to track using traditional radar systems. The enhanced targeting capabilities of the Bauman make it a more effective system for modern air defense operations, increasing its value as a mobile anti-aircraft gun. While the Bauman may not rival the more sophisticated missile defense systems employed by Iran's adversaries, it is a cost-effective alternative that provides substantial firepower in a more affordable package. The relatively low cost of anti-aircraft artillery systems compared to missile defense platforms makes the Bauman an attractive option for countries with limited defense budgets or those seeking to expand their air defense capabilities quickly. The use of twin 57mm S68 guns, which have a rate of fire of up to 70 rounds per minute per gun, allows the Bauman to engage multiple targets simultaneously, creating a defensive umbrella over a wide area. The fragmentation tracers fired by the system are effective against aerial targets, while the armor-piercing rounds allow the system to provide support in ground combat as well. The operational flexibility of the Bauman is enhanced by its ability to be deployed in various scenarios. In addition to its primary role as an anti-aircraft weapon, the Bauman can be used to provide mobile fire support in ground operations. In this capacity, the 57mm guns can engage light armored vehicles, infantry, and even structures, making the system a dual-purpose asset. 
This versatility makes it particularly useful in asymmetric warfare scenarios where non-state actors and irregular forces often rely on low-tech, highly mobile tactics. By fielding a system like the Bamon, Iran can bolster its ability to counter these types of threats while also defending against conventional air attacks. The Bamon also serves as a reminder of Iran's long-standing commitment to self-reliance in defense technology. Following the Islamic Revolution of 1979 and the subsequent arms embargoes imposed by the West, Iran's defense industry has faced significant challenges in acquiring advanced military technologies. In response, the country has prioritized the development of its indigenous defense capabilities. Over the past few decades, Iran has made significant strides in a variety of defense sectors, from ballistic missile development to naval and aerospace technologies. The Bamon is a prime example of this self-reliance, as it draws on both Soviet-era designs and modern Iranian engineering to meet the country's air defense needs. The development of systems like the Bauman also reflects Iran's desire to maintain a deterrent capability in the face of overwhelming technological superiority by its regional adversaries. While the United States and Israel possess highly advanced air defense and missile systems, Iran has focused on creating a flexible, layered defense network that can operate with greater efficiency and effectiveness in the challenging terrain of the Middle East. By deploying systems such as the Bauman, Iran can present a credible threat to adversaries, dissuading them from engaging in military action or overestimating their ability to achieve air superiority. In comparison to regional peers, the Bauman is a middle ground solution that bridges the gap between older anti-aircraft systems and the more advanced missile defense technologies employed by countries like Israel and the United Arab Emirates. While the Bauman may not have the advanced radar capabilities or long-range interception capabilities of systems like the Thales Rapid Fire Air Defense or the Russian Sea Hrai Petrel, it offers a practical and versatile solution that enhances Iran's overall defense posture. It complements more sophisticated missile systems while providing a valuable layer of defense against smaller, more agile threats. Its development and deployment also underline Iran's ability to adapt to the changing nature of modern warfare, where UAVs, cruise missiles, and other low-flying threats play an increasingly important role. In conclusion, the Bauman self-propelled anti-aircraft system is an important addition to Iran's military inventory, reflecting both the country's growing defense capabilities and its strategic focus on self-reliance. By integrating Soviet-era technologies with modern Iranian innovations, the Bauman provides a versatile, cost-effective solution for countering low-flying threats in both air and ground combat. Its development also underscores Iran's broader military strategy of maintaining a multi-layered defense system that can address a range of challenges, from conventional air threats to asymmetric warfare tactics. While the system may not be as advanced as some of its regional counterparts, it offers a valuable asset for Iran's defense forces, contributing to the country's overall ability to defend its airspace and project power in the region.